Hi, I'm Chelsea Grassfield, Policy Specialist at Friends of the Chicago River. I'm pleased to announce that we are designating April as Overflow Action Month. You see, when it rains, wastewater and rainwater can overwhelm our wastewater treatment facilities. That means this water is released untreated into the Chicago and Calumet Rivers. This is called a combined sewer overflow or CSO for short. CSOs can be tremendously harmful to people, plants and wildlife in and along the river. Why is this happening? A lot has changed since this system was built over a hundred years ago. For one thing, climate change is bringing us a lot more rain. Also, the plants and soil that absorb stormwater, like a sponge, have been paved over. And finally, there's just a lot more of us and our appliances like washing machines and garbage disposals create a lot more wastewater. Now, as little as three tenths of an inch is enough to cause flooding and CSOs in parts of Chicago. Our partners, at the Metropolitan Water Reclamation District work tirelessly to ensure the health of our river system and work to eliminate CSOs and maintain the full capacity of their seven wastewater treatment plants and the tunnel and reservoir plant. The good news is, is that there's something you can do to help relieve pressure on the system. The next time it rains, please be sure to flush every other time you go and take a shorter shower. If not, skip it all together. Also, sign up on our website, chicagoriver.org for overflow action day alerts. OED alerts let you know when we're expecting enough rain that could trigger a CSO and helps remind you to lessen your water use that day. Finally, please be sure to follow us on social media for this month and beyond, we hope to engage with you and learn how this is affecting you and fun ways that you like to conserve water on rainy days. Thank you.